Welcome to my brand new Sailor Moon collection room. I recently renovated this entire room. I can't wait to show you the entire tour, but you can already see some of it behind me here. I'm so excited to show you the rest. I am super grateful because one of my wonderful friends just went to Japan and brought home an in-hand delivery of the brand new Sailor Moon Horizon art book. Now I just did a video showing you all of the interior art that is included in this art book. So if you want to flip through, if you want to see every single page yourself, then you can watch that video. But if you don't want spoilers, I'm making this video as well to inform you about this art book, tell you how you can buy one for yourself, tell you about the differences for the different versions. There's a few different versions, but they're basically the same thing. And also compare it to one of my older art books. I have one of the 1990s art books. I have all of them, but this was the easiest one to get out of my display. <laughs> so this is the one that we're going to compare it to. So we have been waiting for a Sailor Moon art book to come out since like 2017. I believe Sailor Moon uh, licensed media outlets announced that they were going to be doing an art book. It's going on maybe seven years now. So it's been a very, very long time that we have been waiting for this art book to come out. Ask me how patient I am as a Sailor Moon fan. I guess you have to be when you live in America and you had to deal with waiting for stars to get officially dubbed for pretty much your entire adult life. So back in March, they announced that they were coming out with the Sailor Moon Horizon Artworks, which is an art book that compiles the entirety of Naoko Takeuchi's art from Sailor Moon from 1991 all the way up to now. Everyone freaked out, everyone was excited because we have been waiting so long for this and nowadays the original art books are so incredibly hard to find at a decent price. The third party prices on these are ridiculous. I am very grateful that these were one of the very first things that I had collected when I started collecting Sailor Moon. So that was a good like 10-15 years ago when I got really serious. Art books were the first thing I went after. Thank God. <laughs> they have increased in price even more since I started collecting. Now the older art Art books were a lot skinnier but they are a lot taller so the art inside of these is a lot larger compared to what you see in this one because the pages are going to be physically smaller you'll notice that the older traditional vintage art books those only have like what 50 pages or something like that they're skinny they're skinnier books the new one is 200 pages and this one fits in 745 illustrations compared to each page in this one basically depicting a very large illustration. So something that takes up the entirety of the page. So these older art books only fit so many pieces of art. However, the new artworks piece has 745. That's a lot, so we know that they're going to be cramping a lot of that in here. If you watched my flip through video, then you know that a lot of these pages are very cramped with art. I will show you a couple of examples on the top down camera, but I will not flip through the entire thing in case you do not want those spoilers. But you can see here just from a couple of pages that I'm randomly opening that each one is going to depict much smaller prints of the same art that you have in the previous art books. The new art book is 39.80 yen. So that works out to be a pretty decent price compared to the current pricing of the older art books. However, when these first came out, they were 2200 yen. So yeah, these were pretty inexpensive too when they first retailed. So the price for this one is kind of similar to the original pricing of those. These are coming out nationwide in Japan. However, we do not have any international licensed releases with any retailers. However, you do have options even if you are international. You do not have to have a friend travel to Japan and hand deliver it to you here in America. Uh, in my case, I run a proxy. It's called Sailor Snubs Sales. A lot of other proxies also are shipping these internationally too so you can always order through other proxies if you can find a better deal. It really doesn't matter to me my proxy page is not my full-time job my full-time job is my tech YouTube channel so if you don't buy from me that's fine I don't I don't really care. You can also find these books through websites like Amazon JP however you do have to have a Amazon JP account it's separate from your normal country's Amazon account so that so you do have to sign up with a separate account but you can order it from Amazon JP there's a lot of other retailers in Japan that are currently selling these too. And then we also have a couple available from the Sailor Moon store and the fan club. Now the Sailor Moon store is selling the art book 
but it comes with a clear file. And the clear file has special text in this color. Ooh, how pretty. The fan club is also selling the art book with a clear file, but that clear file is going to look like this, and it has different colored text. Ooh, how pretty. So you're basically getting a clear file from the Sailor Moon store or the fan club, or you just get the art book if you order it from other retailers. Now the fan club also has a deluxe edition, which is the art book plus a special slip cover. It's supposed to be the same exact artwork that you see on the front and the back of the book itself. So that's just supposed to be a simple slip cover that your book can slide into and protect it in case you are a collector. They're charging about $15 USD equivalent in yen for the deluxe version, but if you don't care about the slip cover, you can just purchase the regular version, either with the clear file from the Sailor Moon store or the fan club, or you can just get the book by itself if you don't collect clear files. So technically there is only one version of the art book. They just come with bonuses depending on if you get them from other stores. I know there was a lot of confusion about that, so hopefully that clears it up. So luckily, since we can order these from many different places, they aren't super hard to find. However, they do keep on selling out but additional inventory is being added to all of these retailers after a few days of it being sold out. So unfortunately, the new book is a soft cover edition. It is not hardcover like the previous art books that we were able to obtain from the 1990s. So that's one of the drawbacks of this one, as well as the size being somewhat smaller. Even though it, there are so many illustrations in here, I would say that that would be a drawback too. The fact that so many of these pieces is pretty squished, kind of small, is a bit of a con too. So now that you know the cons, I also wanted to talk about all the pros of the brand new art Artworks collection by Naoko Takeuchi. So even though this entire artworks is a lot smaller in size than the original art books, this one has so many prints in here that we have never seen printed out into really nice high resolution media. There are a lot of pieces in here that are from the museum and the exhibition. There are pieces in here that we have seen printed on postcards, on little like cardboard or acrylic calendars. We've seen some of this printed on the front of manga, but we have never seen it printed into a book like this. For example, Sailor Moon Channel are artwork is in here. The Chanel artwork is in here. So you can see all of that in really nice high resolution prints. And one of the other things that I have seen in this book that I didn't see anybody else mention was there are some beautiful prints of original merchandise that came free with like Nakayoshi magazines back in the day. And having this kind of information available for collectors is extremely valuable if you are a collector who is trying to find all these little pieces. Because now you have the actual names of all these different items, you have the date that they were released, and you have pictures of them so that you can actually find them when you're going shopping at like Mandrake. I also noticed that some of the pieces in this art book are actually updated or they have slightly different coloring. There's a few pieces in here that have a little bit more like vibrant or bolder backgrounds than the original pieces that we have seen printed in the older art books. So we do have some updated art in here too. So I would say that this is not a direct compilation or a collection of all the previous art books. It is something that stands on its own and it's a catalog of work that Naoko Takeuchi has created throughout her life. So when I look at this as a standalone item as opposed to an additional art book, at first I was thinking it would be this size and I was slightly disappointed when I found out that it is so much smaller. But when I look at it as being something that's completely separate, I respect its production a lot more. With that said though, I do see all the drawbacks of the new artworks and I do wish that it was the same size as the previous art books because those are so big, they're so high resolution and you get this beautiful clarity into those previous pieces of art. Because of the size of the these newer artworks, you don't get this huge two-page print of a piece of art. It's a lot smaller, it's a lot more cramped, and instead I feel like it's not necessarily a display so much as a catalog. 
So I'm actually really glad that these are a relatively good price and I'm also really glad that I ordered more than one so that I can enjoy this one, I can open it, I can go through it with like a cup of tea and enjoy it as much as I want. I don't care if I spill anything on it. I have another copy that will be shipping to me soon and that's going to be the one that belongs here in the collection room while this one will probably go on my coffee table. So if you want the full flip through of the book, I, I know I have not shown you many pages in this video but if you want the full flip through make sure to subscribe on my channel I am also going to be going through a another video talking about all the previous art books uh, because there are bootlegs that are available of all the old art books and there is a brand new bootleg that we have been seeing going around uh, props to Sarah for telling us about that and giving us an alert the infinity art book there's a bootleg of that one so I definitely want to make sure that everybody knows how to get legitimate copies of these so that you're not paying exorbitant prices for something that's a bootleg. So I do have a lot of videos kind of in my library of plans to make for the channel, so definitely subscribe for those. And of course, if you have any questions about the art books, again, I have every single one up to the brand new artworks. So definitely put your comments down below. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions. And until next time, uh, I guess my next video, I'll see you in Japan. Bye y'all.